always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. And it's so nice that the weather's cooperating for the great skate event. Live look outside, quiet, cold, a few flurries from time to time, very low light here in South Haven, but you can see the breeze. It's been minimal today. It should be minimal tomorrow, but Monday we expect it to get breezy. We're hoping for a few breaks in the clouds for today, but did not see them. It was pretty overcast from start to finish. Tomorrow will also be cloudy with chances of snow, and it's Monday that we have a better chance of seeing a touch of sunshine. So let's walk you through the next couple of days. We have high pressure that's close by right now that's helping to keep things kind of quiet, but cloudy. And if we look at the system that's going to be swinging through, you can already start to see it's throwing snow into Wichita, Kansas City, and north into Omaha. So it doesn't take much imagination to see how this snow is going to cut across West Michigan, and it's especially going to be impacting areas south of I-96. And if you live in places like Muskegon County, Nuego County, Mount Calm County, you're probably not going to see too much out of this system. So here's your future cast. And you can see the first wave of snow rolling in. This first batch overnight tonight through 4 a.m. tomorrow is going to be targeting especially north of Grand Rapids. But then the system continues to swing down to the southeast. So totals are going to be all over the board, but we don't expect more than two inches. Most of us are going to be seeing an inch or less. This is how your Sunday finishes. We see some breaks from time to time in the future cast. But by 7 p.m., don't be surprised if you see the snow uptick again, adding just a little bit more to your total. We could see a few raindrops mixing in as well because tomorrow's high should be up near 35. So Sunday is going to be a winter system, just kind of a weak winter system. Still, it is nice to see things get back on track. As for Monday, look at this. Pretty decent chance that we could see some sunshine from time to time. It's been a very cloudy January after a very cloudy December, so it will be a welcome change of pace. Here's a rough look at how much snow we're expecting. Please don't uh, take these numbers as set in stone. A small shift in the forecast could shortchange Grand Rapids and only give places like Hastings uh, a dust of accumulation. But most of us, again, should be sitting close to about an inch or less for your Sunday snow. Sunday, hour by hour, you can see temperatures don't move too much, but by the time we get to the afternoon, we should be above freezing, 34, 35 degrees. So you might have a bit of a melt around before a refreeze in the evening. Watch for icy spots and then get ready again for some sunshine on Monday. So here's the high resolution version as we go overnight tonight. And you can see again, some snow chances rolling through, hitting different places differently. So it's not going to be a really even coating of snow with our Sunday system. Another small wave arrives on Monday, Wednesday to Thursday. Amanda, we've been watching that system for several days. It had a potential of giving us three to six inches of snow. Right now, it does not look all that great for us. I would say zero to four inches at this point in time. Best chance is going to be further to the south.